Hi, my name is Sue Lamar and I'm here at Fog Filler today for part two of greasing your filler and capper properly. We talked earlier about uh, fillers that were 2000 and older and now I want to talk a little bit more about fillers that are 2000 and newer and what the differences are and what you should and shouldn't do. So very similar, you're still going to have um, a grease bank here. I guarantee it'll be labeled and then because this machine is so big, you're gonna have, this is for the filler bowl, and then on the opposite side of the machine, you'll have a capper bowl greasing bank as well, right here. Um, but very similar to what we talked about earlier, is they'll all be labeled. They will have colored rings on them in these newer versions. The colored rings, because this is brand new, haven't been placed on there, but each of the different colors, maybe it'll be pink and blue and red and yellow, but the different colors are to indicate different frequencies. So a specific color does mean something and everyone's a little different. So please reference your manual to make sure that you're doing that accurately. On these newer fillers, another thing that we've improved is that they have these um, cups. I'll show you over here. That cup right there is a great clean visual for you to know if you've greased it enough. So with a filler capper combination of such a big size, if you're over there at the grease bank greasing, it's best if you have a coworker to come and help you and say visually, yep, okay, you're good. Cause you'll be able to see movement of grease in that container. When that container gets full, you can just twist it off throw it in the garbage and twist a brand new one on. Super easy, super clean versus um, what we had been doing in the past. Now we are standing on the other side of this filler that I've been showing you. And what I want to show you is another grease bank. And this grease bank is for conveyor. So it'll um, grease in specific spots where the conveyor needs it. It is very careful to read your manual on the frequency for the conveyor because this is the one area where you could over grease and get yourself into trouble. So please reference your manual on that. And like always, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 616-786-3644, and we'd be happy to walk you through the process and help you learn best practices for your specific filler. Thanks and have a great day.